Good night. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Fine, fine. You? Sorry, can you repeat? Fine, you? Fine. Fine. Can you, can you listen to me? Yes. Very well. You and me? Yes. A little bit. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. Let me see. I will wear a... A clip. Now, can you listen to me? Yes, good. I think because it is raining. It is raining. Yes. Yes. It has been raining since five o'clock. Here? There? 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 Ah, yeah, there. Yeah, sorry, here. <laughs> <laughs> and you in your house? In no. Here, no, no. No. It's not raining. No raining, no. It's oh, so that's good. That's good that it's not raining. Yeah, because the problem when it is raining is internet connection. Yes. Internet connection gets very, very, uh, very weak. Mm -hmm. And very mm. weird. Hi, Erika. Hi, teacher. How are you? I don't know why uh, the, the volume is a little okay can you repeat fine ah, okay I think it's because of the rain right yeah, yeah. here is raining something because raining in your house yes it's raining here oh and you Linda it's raining in your house Yes, teacher, it's raining in my house. Oh, and you, Patty? No, no, right? No raining, no. All right. Okay. It's really, it's really weird. <laughs> black, sky black, and no raining. Oh, the, 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 it is cloudy. Yes. Pero ustedes sí me escuchan bien a mí. Sí. Yes, yes teacher. Teacher. I listen. Very good. Okay, very good. The thing is that I need to I need to to change my my headphones. Mm. I need to I need to get other other headphones. Maybe next week. Se aceptan donaciones. <laughs> Sorry. Se aceptan donaciones, diga. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, that, that, that would be great. <laughs> That would be great to have a to have a donation. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it is eight o'clock today. Today is the longest day because today we have the class, and some of you will have the tutoring, the tutoring session. I sent the names, okay, uh, to the group. Did you see? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't remember. I just remember Avi. Avi and I don't remember who else. Let me check. Let me check. Well, I'm gonna tell you later. I'm gonna tell you later because we need to um, continue, all right? Now, we're gonna begin today with a little activity. Okay, this is a little activity. And, <laughs> and the name of this activity is the guessing game. Okay, very good. This is the guessing game. So, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you some questions. Okay, and what you have to do is you have to answer. Well, they are not questions. They are just some ideas and you have to co cho um, choose the correct answer. Everybody can participate, all right? Now, this is not uh, that we are gonna go and practice alone. No, everybody can participate. Now, we're gonna be first one. 
And the first one is, who am I? I am part of the house. I am a room. Okay, so here we have uh, three options, bathroom, bedroom, and living room. So I am giving you some clues so you can guess what it is. Okay, very good. I'm gonna give you some clues and you will guess what it is. Okay, so the first one is, I am part of the house. Number two, I am a room. Number three, Sorry. You can find pillow and bed. Do you know? Bedroom. Yay, the bedroom. bedroom. And I am used for sleeping. The bedroom. Bedroom, very good. So this is the answer. Bravo. <laughs> okay, the next one. No, we, what happened? <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uy, okay, it is, it is here, I don't know what happened. Okay, the next one. Uh, this, this, we fit. The next one. We have three options. Doctor, chef, and architect. All right, doctor, chef, and architect. Now, we're gonna look to the first scene. Who am I? Who am I? I am human. <laughs> Three are human, right? The doctor, the chef, and the architect. Another clue. I work in a hospital. Doctor. Doctor. Doctor, doctor. very good, very easy, okay. I treat the sick people, okay? I treat the sick people. I give injections and medicines. All right, very good. So is? Doctor. Doctor, all right, very good, doctor. Now let's see. Oh my God, and they finish, all right. <laughs> Okay, number, the next one. The next one is a uh, clownfish. Do you remember Nemo? Yes. Nemo is a clownfish. Jellyfish, do you remember a SpongeBob? Yes. Bob Eponja, do you remember SpongeBob? Yes. Yes. Some pink things, and they have electricity. That is jelly. Ah, ah. Yeah, they have electricity. And shark, okay, shark. Uh, like uh, from the song, baby shark. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, <laughs> the hints. Who am I? Oh, what am I? All right, in this case will be what am I? I am... A wild animal. I live under the sea. I have big body. And I have sharp teeth. Shark. 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 Hey, a shark. Very good. It is a shark. I'm not going to select it because if not, we uh -huh. screw it. All right. The next one, we have three options. Train, bus, and truck. So let's read the hints. Who am I? I am means of transportation. Medio, I am means of transportation. Okay, the, the three are means of transportation. I have long body. Brain. I have many iron wheels. Sorry? Someone over there spoke. I have many iron wheels. Okay, I have many iron wheels. 
And I run in a railway. What is it? Train. 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 A train. Very good. I think Herman, Herman is here. Yes. Herman is in the house. Okay, very good. Yeah, Herman said train. All right, next. We have chips, chocolate, and candy. Okay. What am I? I am food. The three are, are, are food. All right. The three are, are, are food. Children like me. Children like me. I am sweet. Candy. And my color is brown. What it is? Chocolate. 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 Hey, okay. I, I want to tell you something. We're gonna we're gonna see something of pronunciation. The pronunciation of this is. It's like if you say chocolate. It's like if you say this, chocolate. 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 So you don't say chocolate, mm -hmm. so you pronounce it chocolate. 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 Yeah? Quickly, chocolate, 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 chocolate. 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 Yeah? chocolate. yeah, all right, chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Okay, and next. Oh, these are TV characters. Uh, they are from Bob Esponja. They are from SpongeBob. Number one is Squidward. Squidward is Calamardo, right? Number mm. two is Patrick. Patrick the Star. <laughs> Patrick the Star. And number three is Sandy Sticks. That is Arenita. Okay, very good. So, who am I? I am a cartoon character. The three are cartoon characters. I live in the sea. The three live in the sea. I am SpongeBob's friend, and my shape is a star. Sandy. Sorry? Sandy. Patrick. Sandy. Yay! Patrick. Patrick. Yes. Patrick. 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 Patrick the star. Patrick oh. yes. Estrella. Okay, the next one is a whiteboard, a table, and a bookcase. What am I? It's not who, it's what. What am I? I am classroom equipment. Equipment. I am in front of the students in the class. My color is white, and you can write and draw anything in me. Whiteboard. 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 Very good. Very good. Next. A coat. A swimsuit or pajamas? Swimsuit is, woo, you go to the beach and you model in a swimsuit. <laughs> a coat is for this weather that is raining and, a, and pajamas are uh, to sleep. What am I? No who, what? I am clothes, clothes. The pronunciation of this is clothes. I'm going to tell you, because a lot of people say clothes, no, no clothes, no clothes, it is claws, like claws, claws, I am clothes, claws, all right, you don't say clothes, clothes, no, clothes, like if you say close the door, pero no es con S el sonido, it's not with S, it's with S, okay. Oh. I am close. Close. I consist of shirt and pants. You wear me when you are going to sleep. What is it? Pajamas. 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 Very good. Pajamas. Do you remember pajamas? Bananas in pajamas. Do you remember? Yes. Eh. Long time, ago. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago. Okay. Okay, a part of the body. Teeth, tongue, and nails. Okay, no, no fingers, uh, nails. Okay. 
what am I? It's not who, it's what. I am part of body. You have to brush me every day. I am in mouth. And you use me for biting the foods. Eat. Sorry? Eat. Eat. Yeah, look at look at my pronunciation because if you say tits, you are saying another thing. Teeth. Teeth. Like teeth. Because if you say tits, mm -mm, you are saying this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So not tits. Teeth. Okay, very good. And the last one. The last one is water, juice, or milk. Okay, water, juice, or milk. What am I? No, who? What? I am one of drinks. My taste sweet. I have many vitamin and mineral. I am produced from cow. Milk. 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 Very good. Milk. Milk. Okay. Well. Oh my God! And we continue. Okay continue because it is a lot but because we have to do other things we're gonna do this one let me see okay table chair or bookcase i am furniture i am made from wood i have four legs and you can sit on me chair chair very good chair, chair. And we're gonna finish here because we have other things to do. Okay, I only have seven people today. Ruth, Patricia, Linda, Xiomara, Herman, Reina, Juliana, Edgar, and Erica. Oh my Lord, I only have seven people. Well, okay. And now what we're gonna do right now is, sorry, I am, doing something right now and we're gonna go and see the presentation for today's class okay very good so welcome to class number 13 okay class number 13 in class number 13 this is today's objective okay this is what we're gonna learn today you will learn to make a phone call to report sickness, maybe not a phone call, but we're gonna learn to report sickness using idioms, native expressions from the English language. That is what we're gonna learn today. Like in El Salvador, we have idioms. In English, they have idioms. All right, very good. So um, the next slide will be, well, the guessing game we already have. Now, this is what we're gonna do right now. Um, what we're gonna do today is this. Please take a picture to this. Take a picture to, to this. You have the picture? Yes. Yes, okay. What we're gonna do right now is this. Here, we have some illnesses. They are called minor illnesses. They can be illnesses and you can say, oh my God, I feel, I feel like this. So tomorrow I am not going to work because I have, so I have diarrhea or yeah, they are minor illnesses or illnesses that can't permit you to go to work. So what we're gonna do right now is, I want you to match the illness with the picture. I'm not gonna tell you anything right now because if I tell you, I'm gonna give you the answers. So if you have a dictionary or a translator with you, you can use it. So uh, the first one is a backache, the flu, a food poisoning, a stomachache, 
Estomachache, no. You say stomachache, <laughs> right? A headache, an earache, a cough, a sore throat, a temperature, a cold, an allergy, and a toothache. Okay? So I want you to match the illness with the picture. Is it clear? Okay, so let me see. I have more people today right now. So I'm gonna share if maybe some of you have just get online, take a picture from the from the from the picture. <laughs> take a picture from the picture. And what you're gonna do is you will match. Okay, for example, you say, ah, teacher. It, a cold is this, for example. All right, you're gonna you're gonna match, or you will say, oh, um, the flu is this one. The flu is number sorry. The flu is number eleven. All right, so you will match. Okay, you will match the name with the illness. All right, so I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna send you to a small rooms. Some people are losing internet connection. Some people are having problems with the connection. All right, so I'm gonna send you to the rooms. Let me see. I have people for, let me see, Ruth and Saida, Janet are gonna work together. Jose Nelson Gustavo will work with Carmen Irene, Herman with Abby, Edgar with Erika Elizabeth Salmerón, and Jose Gustavo Nelson Pineda with Linda Xiomara, okay? So we're gonna practice. I'm gonna give you some time so you, you can do this. Bye-bye, everybody. Go to the breakout rooms. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Number two, teacher. Vaya, si la, y las que vayan quedando, después nos quedamos analizándolas para avanzar. In English. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Next. Next. Say it in, English. in the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Abby, you can do it. Do it. Okay. okay. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, you can do what Abby says. You can match like the easy ones, and after you analyze the difficult ones. Okay. Hey, okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> may may I confusing a call and a uh -huh. flu and the flu? No, because number seven is flu. Okay, number three a call. Number four. Number four is a uh, irash. Irash for me. An irash. Irash. Yes. Number five. Mariada. Como Mariada. Headache, uh -huh. A headache. Yes, a headache. Number seven, six. Stomachache. 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 No sé cómo se dice. Stomachache. 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 Number seven, seven flu is, is a flu. Uh -huh. The flu. The flu. The flu. And number eight, eight allergy. Is an, an allergy. allergy. An allergy. Yes. An allergy. Number nine, a toothache. A toothache. A toothache. Dolor de muelas. Sí, de flu. El ocho, alergia. An alergia. Uh -huh. Alergia. Uh -huh. El nueve. El nueve. ¿Qué le duele al nueve? Creo que las muelas. Ajá, pero ¿cuál es la muela? Pero ya no habíamos puesto la segunda con la muela. Uh -huh. Es que la segunda quizás no es eso que tiene. La, se, la segunda es a, es sor, a sortro. ¿Sabe por qué? Porque es como tos. Say sorry, sorry, ladies, in English. <laughs> okay. In so. English, in English. Okay. Así okay. le digo a teacher, pero no me oye. <laughs> what is, what is, uh, do, do you have any question with vocab? <laughs> no. Number two. Ah, no, flu. Yeah, it's because some the people flu. confuse the flu and a cold, right? Mm, but remember, and a uh, cold. the flu uh, is the flu is the okay. virus. A the cold is the virus. Mm -hmm. Continue, right? And 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the, the chance. All right, I'm gonna go and visit. La once sería. Las tiene todas en orden. Sorry. Sí. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. In... So you finished? Yes. Ah, okay. Try, try to double check because maybe you can have a little mistake over okay. there. Yeah, try to yeah. double check, please. Yeah. First is a package. Throw it, algo así. Es como oh, dolor de sorry. garganta. Sore throat. Mm, yeah. Sore throat. Uh, a sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah, sore, sore throat. Sore, sore throat. Yeah, it's sore terrible. Throat. Sore throat. Okay, very good. Sore throat. Okay. 
tuyo o subí algo como un carro, como bien. Sí, sí, sí. Hacen un juego donde pone este. Finish, teacher. Ok, very good, very good. Do you think your answers are correct? La media hora de los hablando. Que cuando lo bajé, yo me acordaba. Yo me acordaba. Ay. Dale un cero con ellos. Yes, okay. I didn't listen because interference. And that if you, if you double... Can you listen to me? No. Yes. Right now, yes. I, I no. have a hay tanta interferencia. Estoy en las voces. Estoy en voces, una gran plática. Really. Oh my God. Yeah. I have a, a doubt. 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 Okay. Very doubt. Good. Yes. Tell me. In the flu and the cold. The similar. Oh, okay. Flu is it's similar. similar. Flu is the virus, okay? Es el virus. Flu is the virus. Ya la gripe, prácticamente. Flu is just a, ah, a little In thing. this case. Sorry? Okay. And the three are cold and the seven are flu or the ah, inverse. Ah, okay. We're going to check the answers in a moment. Okay. Yeah. Give me a give me a second. Let's... Okay, very good. Now, uh, could you check your answers? Do you have all the answers or no? Yes. Teacher. Yes. All right. Yes. That's good. Sorry that today a lot of people are making noise here. The parrot. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let me see. Okay. Now, which one do you think is a backache? Which number? Backage. Backage. It's a number 10. ten. Number 10. Number 10. Backache is number 10. Very good. Backache. A backache. Sorry. Backache, number 10. What about the flu? Maybe number seven. Number seven. Maybe number seven. Are you sure? Or number yes. three. Number two. Okay. Give me a second. We better check in another place. So we are sure. Mm -hmm. So you said number... Number, okay, we're gonna go in order. What do you think number one is? Number one. A food, food poisoning. Poison. Number one is food poisoning. poisoning. Number one is food poisoning, yes. Number one is food poisoning. Number two? A cold. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. 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 Yes. I number three is the flu. Okay, so number one is food poisoning. Number two is a cough. Number three is the flu. Okay, very good. Give me a second, everybody. What about number four? Hedish. Okay. Number four is an earache. Irish. 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 Sorry, everybody. 
Eh, what about, okay, number four is an earache. Number five is a headache. Number six? Stomachache. Stomachache. A stomachache. All right, number six, a stomachache. Number seven? A cold. A cold. Give, me a, give me a little second. Give me a little second. Sorry, everybody, my parrot was making a lot of noise. <laughs> He's supposed to be sleeping, but right now she is snoopy. She is snooping. Okay, so number six is stomachache. Number seven is a cold. Number yes. eight. An allergy. Number eight is an allergy. And number nine? To take. Okay, number nine is an earache. Earache? No, let me see. Yeah, it's a toothache. Aquí hay un error. There is a little mistake. But yeah, number nine is a toothache. Number 10 is a backache. Number 11 is a sore throat. And number 12 is temperature. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna repeat. Let's see, number one. Number one is food poisoning. Number two is cough. Number three is the flu. Number four is an earache. Number five is a headache. Number seven, number six is a stomachache. Number seven is a cold. Number eight is an allergy. Number nine is an earache. Num uh, sorry, uh, a toothache. Number nine is a toothache. Number 10 is a backache. Number 11 is a sore throat. And number 12 is temperature. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the pictures again and you are gonna pronounce for me. Okay, very good. You're gonna pronounce for me. So what is number one, everybody? Food poison. Yeah, number two? Cough. cough. A cough. A cough. 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 Yeah, we pronounce a cough. Number cough. Cough. The flu. The flu. The flu. Four. The flu. And earache. Okay. Number four is an earache. Number five. Earache. A headache. A headache. Very good. Headache. We're not gonna say headache or headache. No. Number six? A stomach, stomach cake. cake. A stomach, stomach cake. cake. Excellent. Very good pronunciation. Stomach, stomach cake. cake. Number seven? A cold. A cold. A cold. A cold. Number seven is a cold. Number a cold. eight? An allergy. An allergy. An allergy. An allergy. Number nine? A toothache. a toothache. A toothache. Number nine is a toothache. toothache. Number ten. Backache. 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 Number eleven. A sore, a sore throat. throat. A sore, sore throat. All right. Sore throat. Sore throat. And number twelve. Temperature. 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 Very good. Temperature. Okay, so please keep in mind, keep in mind this vocabulary because we're going to use it later. Okay, so we're going to go to the next slide. And right now, we're going to answer the following questions. And the following questions are, do you often get sick? You can say yes or no. Um, and then we can ask, what are the procedures you follow when you are sick in your job? What do you do when you are sick in the office? What do you do? You say, ah, today I, I have food poisoning, so I am not going to work. Is that possible? No. No. 
Is that possible? I don't think so. You need to follow some procedures. So what I want you to do is we're gonna we're gonna talk uh, in pairs just for three or four minutes to answer this question, and I'm gonna include an extra question. Do you often get sick after this question? What what are some common illnesses? Some common minor illnesses. Uh, employees. Um, what are some common minor illnesses employees uh, give as um, as a justification for missing a day in the job? Okay, very good. So what are some common minor illnesses employees give as a justification for missing a day in the job? You understand this question? What are some common? You understand the question? Yeah. yeah, so what are some common minor illnesses employees give as a justification for missing a day in the job? For example, in my case, when I was working in, a, in an academy, the common the common minor illness I suffered was sore throat because I speak a lot. So it was it was very common that I got sick from my from my throat. Okay, it was it was very 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 common that I got sick. Okay, other people maybe can get sick from headaches. Other people can get sick from stomach aches, you will discuss this question. So take a picture, please. You, you took the picture. Right. Okay. If you don't have the picture, you can say it. Now, you're ready? Yeah. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna stop the share and we're gonna go and discuss these questions in pairs. Remember, all, all your practice has to be in English, all right? All your practice has to be in English. We're gonna have a group of three. Okay, very good. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm just gonna give you four minutes so you can practice, four minutes. Okay, very good. La, ¿Por qué tipo de enfermedad tú faltarías? ¿Y cuál es el proceso a seguir si tú te enfermas? Uh -huh. Yes. 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 <risa> yes <teacher. risa> eh, quiero ver. ¿Por qué enfermedad faltaría? La Porque ha, ha faltado. Ajá. Podría ser por. Um, por de eh, flu, yes, flu, um, diarrea, <laughs> diarrea, ¿cómo se dice diarrea? Sorry, ¿cómo se How dice diarrea? Say diarrea en inglés, diarrea, da, da, diarrea, diarrea, yeah, diarrea. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. ¿Cómo se dice dolor de vientre, teacher? Sorry. ¿Cómo se dice dolor de vientre? English, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá. Dolor de vientre. No, no, no. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice? Ajá. 
How do you say dolor de vientre? Oh, dolor de vientre in English are cramps. C R A M P S. Como calambre. R A M P S. Cramps. Oh, P P P P P. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Cramps. P S. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That is a common, a common, a common reason. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. Continue. Okay. Decline. 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 Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. You. Next question. You follow when you are sick. Okay, in, in my case, it's a, for example, it's a maybe allergy, it's a, of, or flu, it's a go to work, uh, uh, to my workplace, uh, reporting with, with my, my boss, that I say I, I seek, um, after go to the clinic, uh, to the, in my in my in my work, to the clinic, uh, uh, the doctor me re, me, me examina. I, oh, doctor examines me. Ah, uh, examines mm -hmm. me. Uh, this. Uh, uh, Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna let's see. Okay, now we have here these questions. Okay, so do you often get sick, everybody, in your job? Do you often get sick? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, no. what, are, what are some common minor illnesses uh, you give as a justification that you're going to miss your job? What are some common illnesses you can suffer? Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea, okay. Yeah, that is a, a terrible, a terrible <laughs> illness. What else? Flu. Flu, yeah, it's so terrible to be with a flu and working. What else? Migraña, I don't know. Oh, migraine. Migraine. Migraine, oh, that is terrible. Migraine is terrible. What else? Urinary tract infection. Oh my God, a, a urinary, a urinary infection. That is something, that is not a minor illness. That is some, that is an illness. I mean, it is a terrible illness. What else? Yes. Mm. Sorry? A throat, throat, a cough. A cough? A cough? Yes. Okay, and a sore throat. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to continue. But first, we're going to go to the manual on page number 33. Mm -hmm. But before, a question. How do you say in English, camarón que se duerme, se lo lleva la corriente? <laughs> Investigate G about that. Yes. yes. Okay. How do you say camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente? Sure. You snooze, uh, you lose. Ah, yeah, yeah. okay. You snooze, you lose. Ah, uh, you snooze, you lose. Yes. And Victor too is saying that. Okay. If yeah. you snooze, you lose. You lose. Like you that? Lose. You snooze, you lose. Uh -huh. But I have yes. a question. ¿Y camarón que no, no se dice shrimp? Yeah, but it's in a, English is different. Uh -huh, yeah, yes, it's different. Let me see. If the shrimps, if the shrimp sleeps, the river, no, the stream takes him or takes it away. It's not like that. Yeah, because if we want to translate, if we want to translate this expression, literally, this will be the meaning. 
but Linda and Victor and other students are telling me if you snooze, you lose. So what Teacher. is the correct form? Teacher, okay, what, uh, in a moment, I'm gonna okay. explain. Pero sí, yes, this is the correct. This is the correct way. If you snooze, you lose. That's what you say. Camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente. If you snooze, you lose. So this, this is not correct. Okay, very good. Later, I'm going to tell you why. All right, very good. So I'm going to stop the share and we're going to go and look at the manual. Okay, very good. We're going to go and look at the manual. Here. All right. Now, here we have a conversation between Mr. Rhys and, and Danny. Okay, very good. So we're gonna go and we're gonna practice this conversation. Uh, now this conversation doesn't have difficult words. This conversation doesn't have difficult words. Just cuidadito, be careful with this. The pronunciation of this, this word. Asic. Esta palabra se usa para comparar. For example, Mi mamá es tan bella como una rosa. My mother is as beautiful as a rose. But the pronunciation from this word, no lo vaya a pronunciar as, porque va a estar diciendo otra cosa. You're going to say another thing. You have to pronounce that word like this. It's like if you say as, like a like a little b. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna say as as as. as. We're not we're not gonna emphasize it like uh, as. No, as. We're gonna do it as. smoothly, suavecito as. So for example, as. here the expression says, "My stomach is killing me." My stomach. Imagines un estómago killing you. <laughs> All right, that is, that is, that, yeah, no, right? My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Estoy tan enfermo como un perro. I am as sick as a dog. Oh my, so, this, yeah, these expressions, we're going to study, we're going to study these expressions. All right, these expressions. But first, we're going to practice a little pronunciation. So, take a picture, please, from the conversation. Take a picture from the conversation. Ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah, remember, I'm as sick as a dog. As 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 because if you say as, está diciendo las cuatro letras de atrás. All right, you are saying that. Trasero. In a bad, in a bad way. In a bad way, very offensive way. All right, very good. So you have to say as. As. Hay una diferencia pequeña en pronunciación, pero grandísima en significado. So we have to be careful with the pronunciation. Por eso es que trato de enfatizarles. That's why I try to emphasize your pronunciation because one little is like this, this, tits. We are saying two different things. Tits, dientes. Tits. These ones, these ones, but in a very vulgar way, all right? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna practice. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's see. Uh, okay. I will have a trio as well to read. I will give you some, some minutes. Four minutes at least. Okay, bye bye everybody. And practice the pronunciation of the conversation. Take turns, take turns, please. Thank you very much and take turns.
Ahí, ahí la compartí. Uy, sorry. Ah, yes. Ok. Eh, ¿Es usted Mr. Ruiz? Let me see. Ok. I am, I am Mr. Chris Eugenie. Okay. Good morning. The, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me. What is the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There is some time going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm a TikTok shape. Take it easy. Danny, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, a lot Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope to see you on Monday. Hey, hello, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, you're okay. <laughs> Again. Good morning, there is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me what your matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Today I go is what feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I am in deep top shape. Day. It is it. Johnny, I hope to see you one Monday. Okay, everybody, uh, sorry, but uh, before we continue, I'm gonna take attendance. And please, if you don't have your camera on, activate your camera because uh, to take attendance, I need the cameras on, all right? Okay, let me see. Ruth Patricia Suni Galvarenga. Present. Okay. Abel Nilsson, not here. He's not here. Hi, Janet Perez Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Uh, Ivit Alexandra Rivera Rodriguez. Oh, Ivit, she's not here today. It's so weird. Victor Palacio Reyes. Present. Okay. Claudia Lorena Funes Jovel. She's not here. Grecia Ivonne Mejia Ayala. Present. Yay. <coughs> Sandy Stephanie Pai Sorellana. Okay. Uh, Germán Agustín Ramos Villeda. Present. Cadel Carmen Mejiba mm. Ramírez. Um. She has never been in a class. Juliana Araceli Ramos Rosales. Yay. Present. Okay. Sorry, can you activate the camera a little bit? A little moment, please. Yeah, you are there. Your hand. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, 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 ah. Liana. Uh, oh, Claudia is here. Claudia Lorena Funes. She's here. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, no problem. He's here. Fredo Norberto. No here. Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Hello, present. Okay. Jose Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Jose Nelson Gustavo is having a lot of problems with the internet. Yeah, poor, 
poor guy. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Murcia. Present. Very good. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. Ah, ok. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ya iba a decir, ella ha estado presente, pero tal vez se le fue el internet. But no, she's here. Linda Xiomara Tábora Portillo. Present. Ok. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón de Humansor. Present. Ok. En <ríe> Erika looks at me like. Yeah. <ríe> ok. Reina de la Paz Villatoro de Álvarez. Present. Yes. And Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. He's not here. Okay, eh, I was going to show you a video, but I don't want to show you the video. Creo que voy a posponer el video. Voy a cambiar algo ahorita. I'm going to change something right now. Because we have to watch a video. But first, I need you to, I need you to take a look at this. Okay. If you pay the conversation, we had some experiences that are special. Yes or no? For example, uh, I am as sick as a dog. Oh, there was one. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Another expression you remember from the conversation? Tip top shape. Sorry? Tip top shape. <laughs> How do you? I don't remember that one. <coughs> Take it tip easy. top shape. Tip top shape. Yes, tip top shape. Ah, okay. Take it easy. Tip top shape. Okay. Se what escucha else? Bastante interfere. Can you okay. listen? Yes. Now you can listen. Yes, I listen. Okay. Se escuchan okay. conversaciones. Okay. Tip toe shape. What else? There's something going around. Ah, there is something going around. What else? Under the weather too. Ah, I feel under the weather, etc. Now, if you, if you pay attention, when we translate these expressions in, in Spanish, they don't have like a very coherent meaning. For example, estoy tan enfermo como un perro. You don't say that, right? Teacher, how do you feel today? Oh, me siento enferma como un perro. No, I'm not going to say that. So what is that? Or for example, me siento debajo del clima. I feel under the weather. So what is that? Okay, these expressions are idioms. Idioms or another word, another name are idiomatic phrases. Okay, idioms or idiomatic phrases, all right? What are idioms or idiomatic phrases? Well, they are a group of words established by usage as having a meaning not deducible, not deducible from those the individual words. For example, if we translate these idioms word by word, they don't have meaning. Okay, very good. If we translate this, uh, Germán, I have a question for you. Germán, tengo una pregunta. ¿Usted tiene niños? Yes, I have. Ay, ok. <laughs> es que vi uno corriendo detrás suyo y me dio... Oh, my God. A, go a ghost. Ay, no, ay, no. Y acaba de darme el susto de mi vida. Pero están durmiendo, teacher. ¿Eh? What? No, no, don't tell me that. What? No. No, Herman. Yes. Está bromeando, you're yes. joking, right? No. No. Oh. Es que vi no. pasar un niño detrás suyo corriendo, pero rapidísimo. Lo juro, eh. I swear. 
Demasito. <laughs> yeah, no. ghost teacher. A ghost teacher, you see ghost. No, no vieron que por eso, no vieron que por eso le hice así. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't go. Uh, tiene no, pared. I was talking and they was like, oh my God, because, ay no. Tiene pared, teacher, atrás. Yes, yeah, sí, sí, pared. No, let's That's continue. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. Maybe, maybe when when I upload the video on YouTube, we can see. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Okay. So an idiom or an idiomatic phrase is, uh, like if we say in Spanish, un refrán. Okay, un dicho. For example, in El Salvador, we have a lot of idioms, a lot of phrases, right? Like, for example, um, Casa de Herrero Cuchillo de Palo, and we have, for example, Al que Madruga Dios le Ayuda. We have those expressions, okay? But the expressions have a very specific meaning, okay? So it's the same in English. In English, we have idioms or idiomatic phrases. So, how do you say camar camarón que se duerme se lo lleva la corriente? You lose, you lose. If you snooze, you lose. Exactly. You lose. We say, if you snooze, you lose. Okay? If you snooze, you lose. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. So, we yes. say, if you snooze, you lose. So, these are idioms. Okay? These are the idioms. All right. And the other meaning is a form of expression natural to a language, person, group of people. So idioms are very natural. Like in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, we have expressions like, for example, que chivo. If you say que chivo to a North American person, do you think the person is going to understand? No. Imagine, imagine a person from the United States learning Spanish. And you say, hey, mire, que chivo sus zapatos. Do you think the person is going to understand? No. 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 Maybe the person is going to understand que bonitos sus zapatos, right? But not que chivo, because que chivo is from El Salvador, 100% guanaco. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Mire, que feo ese volado. <laughs> how, do you say, how do you say that in English? <laughs> How do you say, how do you, que feo ese volado? This is ugly. I don't know, teacher, volado? how, you, how yes. you say volado in English. <laughs> or for example, quita este chunche de aquí. <laughs> how do you say chunche in English? Okay. So they are expressions that are from El Salvador and that we have uh, and we use. So in English is similar. In English is similar, similar, similar. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this moment is, me voy a saltar una actividad. I'm gonna jump one activity. Hi, Jose Nelson, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm very happy Hi. to see you. Yeah. Le admiro el esfuerzo que ha hecho, de veras, ¿ok? Le admiro mucho. Yeah. Yo sí, sé. luchando, ya pasó lluvia. Yo sé, yo sé, I know. Ok, so, okay. Eh, Thank you. Okay. so what we're going to do right now is, we're going to work on the book. We have some exercises. Let me see. <laughs> ok. I know, Herman, today I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> Ay, no, no se me pasa hasta la cabeza. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Now, here we have the idioms that we that we had in the conversation, okay? Number 1, Herman, can you read number 1, please? As sick as a dog. Good. Carmen Irene, can you read number 2? Under the water, too. 
Thank you. All right, Erica, can you read number three? There's something going around. Okay. Number four. And number four is for Patty. Can you can you help me with number four, please? My stomach is killing me. Oh, stomach. My stomach is killing me. Okay, number five. Uh, Abby, number five, please. Um, take it easy. Ah, okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Yes, Abby, thank you very much. Uh, Grecia, number six. Can afford two. Okay, can't afford two. Number seven is for Victor. Can you help me with number seven, please? Okay. Good and sick. Okay, thank you very much. And Saida, can you help me with number eight, please? TikTok chat. Thank you, thank you, Saida. Okay, so listen what we're gonna do. This is the idiom. And this is the meaning of the idiom. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna match the idiom with the meaning, okay? Idiom with meaning, idiom with meaning. So uh, Abby, when, when Abby was working with Herman, she had a very good strategy. Abby told Herman, Herman, Maybe we, we begin with the easy ones and then we discuss the difficult ones. So that's what you can do, all right? You can, you can predict the meaning from this and then you can, you can do this. So please, if you want, take a, take a picture. Take a picture. Ready? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, so that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and we're gonna match that. Let's see, I will still have a trio. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some time to do it. I'm gonna give you some minutes to do it. Okay, bye-bye everybody and go to the rooms and, and work, please. Yes. As, as sick as a dog. Yes. Uh, the number three, to relax, to rest. For mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. to relax, to rest. Take it easy. Me, take it easy. Yes. Take it easy. And the number four, not feeling well. Not feeling well. Not feeling well. Uh, the number seven. Call. No. 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 Call in sick. No. 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 Not feeling well. Under the weather too. Not feeling well. Besides today, I'm feeling. Uh, under the weather too, maybe. 
under the weather too. Not no. feeling well. Uh, I'm not no. sure for number. Hay algo dando vueltas. Hi. Hola. Hi, teacher. Hi, no, Herman. I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> oh, maybe it was my no, imagination. Sí. Maybe it was my imagination. Do you have any no, questions? No, no, no. Sorry? Eh, yes, but you have a you have a wall over there. Maybe, maybe it was your shadow. All right. That's not. Eh, okay. Do you have any question with this? No? Do you think it's, it's difficult? Yes, yes. Uh, for example, under the, the weather too. Number? I, I don't know. Number two. Number two, ma, to be very sick. Ah. No. Which, okay, under which the, of the... Ex which are ah, under the weather? Yes. Under the weather yes. is. Under the weather too. Ah, okay. I'm going to give you one example, Herman. I'm going to give you one example and you will predict. Teacher, how do you feel today? I, I, I feel under the weather. Yeah. So. Okay. What do you think? What do you think the meaning of under the weather is? Is number four, not feeling well. Excellent, very good. Excellent, excellent, Herman. Very good. Nice. Not uh, idioms, idioms as uh, verbs and other, and other words, uh, you have to learn them. You have to memorize idioms and meaning idiom and meaning yes we don't we don't have like like um a magical formula right we have to memorize them but you're doing a good job okay continue okay okay uh, number three there's something going around uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, uh, don't have time to. For me, TikTok chain. TikTok chain. Okay, TikTok check is a meaning in, in Spanish is a de la mejor forma. TikTok check. Oh. Entonces, uh, uh, sorry. It's, uh, okay, no. many people. Uh, in great condition, number five is number A. Have any question? Hey. And Sandy, no, no. Uh, uh, question. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay, ask me. Okay. For example, uh, don't have time to. For me, is call in sick. Don't no. have time for a. Uh, let me see. Number six. Um, right now, I'm gonna check. It is don't have time to. Uh -huh. Don't have time. Do you have what do you have for that? For me, it's, it's number seven. Calling sick. Call, no. No. No, mm -hmm. it's not number seven. No, it's not. It's not number no. seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't have time to. It's uh, under the weather too. Oh, under the weather. Oh, you, you have that question too? 
Yeah. Under the weather is, for example, hi teacher, how are you? I know. I feel under the weather today. I have a headache. I have temperature. I, I feel under the weather. So what is the meaning of I feel under the weather? Well, not feeling well. Yes, very not good. Well. That, yeah, that, that is the one. I'm not feeling well. So if you say in English, I feel under the weather, is like if you are saying, I am not feeling well, all right? So for no. people, it's more common to say, I feel under the weather, but there are some people who say, uh, I don't feel well, okay? Okay. Very good. All right, we're gonna go and visit another one. Hello, ladies. Do you have any question? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell me. <laughs> I, um, it's, it's, uh, this difficult. Can't afford yeah. to um is to be very sick. Can't afford to. It's no meaning. No. Is is not that the meaning? Is that calling sick? Calling sick? No. What? No. <gasps> no, I know. This is a little difficult. This is, yeah, because idioms are like that. But don't worry. Wow. We have a lot of time today to practice that. Wow. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. yes. um, it's a first. Sorry? It first is my stomach killing me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my stomach is killing me. Yeah, that is that is the meaning. It's three stomach. is take take it easy. Yeah. Lo, let me see. Now the 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 one that you tell the the, the to, one to relax to rest take it easy. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Oh. Very good. No feel. No feel. Not feeling well. well uh, uh, as Ay, no, esa palabra sino. As sick as a dog. No. Oh. Number four is not that. So what do you have for number two? Patty, what do you have for number two? And and Saida. To, to, be, to be very sick. Mm -hmm. Oh, as sick as a dog. Exactly. Very good. Yeah, that oh. is the one. That is the one. Very good. Okay. Don't worry if you don't finish because I can give you more time. So try try to okay. teach the others. Okay, okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, say the plan. Hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, did you finish? Yes. Yes. But 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 you you are one hundred percent sure or you have questions? Nuestra según nuestra lógica. Sorry? Según nuestra lógica lo resolvimos. <laughs> tell me tell, tell me in English. In the reason in the reason or <laughs> I hope Oh, before. you can tell me. You can tell me. According according to us. Ah, okay. According, according. to us. According we to us. solved it. Solved. Solved. So you can say, according to us, we solved it already. According to us, we sorry to us. Teacher. Yes? Es, take it easy. Es como tranquilo. Yeah. Like in El Salvador, agarrala al suave. Relájate <laughs> vos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, relájate. Did you finish, everybody? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Abby and Grecia, yes. <laughs> but what about the others? No. Yes, okay. but we we confuse confuse in the with the oh, Okay, so right. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send you to to the groups again. But this time I'm gonna add maybe Grecia and Abby with Erika and Claudia. Erika and Claudia, you were working together. 
Yes. Okay. Or maybe I can add them with another person. Let me see. Um, well, give me a second because I have to do something here. Um, Grecia, I'm going to move you with, which is Claudia? Claudia, you are in group number one. Grecia, I'm going to move you to breakout room number one. And Abby, I'm going to move you with Patty and Saida, okay, with room number five. Okay, so I'm gonna give you more more chance right now. I'm gonna give you more time. Okay, bye bye again. Bye bye again. Okay. A duck. Yes, me too. Yes. Number three, to relax, to rest. Is that take, take it easy? Yes. yes me too. Number four, not feeling well. Under the weather too. Me too, yes. Okay. Number five, in great condition, Tip top shape. Yes, me too. Number okay. six, don't have a time to. Can afford to. Yes, me too. Okay. Number seven, many people have the same thing. And there's something going around. Yes, me yes. too. Yes. There, 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 there's, for example, there's. You finished, Sandy and Victor? Yes. Yes, okay. We're gonna yes. check the answers together. Let me okay. say, let me check. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I have the picture. Give me a second because I have to look for the picture. Okay, Sandy and Victor, what do you have for number one? My stomach hurts badly. And the number four, my stomach is killing me. Yeah, okay, stomach. Stomach, stomach. is killing me. Yeah, number stomach. two. Yeah, uh, number two, uh, to, to be very sick. Uh, and number two is uh, has sick, has a lot. Yeah, very good, that's okay. What about number three, to relax, to rest? Take it easy. Yeah. Oh, you know, there is another expression to say, take it easy, that is, uh, hold your horses. Uh, yeah, when uh, you want to say to a person, hey, calmate, calmate, hold your horses, hold your horses, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you are saying, person, relax. It's like if you say, take it easy, or if, like, if you say, chillax, that is another expression. Chill, chillax. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one uh, is number four. Number four, yeah, not feeling well. And it's number two. Under the weather two. Yes, under the weather two. Okay, number five, mm -hmm. it's great condition. It's a tip top shade. Tip top shade, very good. Tip top okay. shade. Number six, don't have time to. It's uh, number six, can't, uh, can't afford to. Okay. Number seven, many people have the same thing. Uh, number number three, three. <laughs> there's, something, there's something going around. Around. Mm -hmm. There is something around. going around. Okay, there yeah. is something going around. The next one is number eight. Number eight, 
to phone the office to say you're sick? It's number seven, call in sick. Oh, very good. You got a text. Mm. Was it yes. difficult? Was it difficult? Yes, yes. yes. And uh, 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 two, three expression uh, is a uh, difficult for 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 us. Because yeah, but it, it is the, the meaning. Yes, but if you pay attention, you can ah, uh, you can substitute these expressions for idioms. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go to the to yeah. the main room right now. Okay, everybody, I was I was checking some some of you working and let me tell you that you did a very good job. Now I'm going to check the exercise with everybody. Okay, very good. So, okay, I will need volunteers here. Was was this exercise difficult, everybody? A little bit. A little yes, bit. a little bit. Okay, we're gonna change. Little bit. Yeah, we're gonna change the color. What color do you want? Green, blue, orange, red, gray. Sorry. Gray. Gray. Yes. I don't have gray. I only have <laughs> blue, green, purple, blue, blue. blue okay. Blue. Okay. Now I'm gonna use blue, not red. Okay. My stomach hurts badly. What's the idiom we're gonna use? My stomach, stomach is, is killing me. It's killing me. Oh my god! I it's blue, not red. Okay, so we say my stomach is killing. It's killing. My loneliness. Is killing me. Okay, now number two, to be very sick. As sick as, as, sick as, as, dog. as, dog. as, dog. as remember, as. 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 As sick. As. 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 Oh, I'm going to tell you something very, very interesting. There are a lot of idioms. Tenemos idioms <laughs> con frutas con animales, con ropa. For example, eh, I want to say, uh, tan fresco como una lechuga. In English, you say, he is as, as cool as a cucumber. As cool as a cucumber. Cucumber es pepino. So in English, we don't say lettuce. We say cucumber. Or for example, Tú, está, tú estás loco. You are nuts. Yes. Nueces. You are nuts. Okay? Instead of saying you are crazy, you say you are nuts. Or for example, hey, you are very intelligent. Hey, Herman, you are a smart cookie. Okay? Oh, my boss. My boss. The top banana okay so they are idioms how do you say for example hacerse el mareado o hacerse el de los panes do you know no i teach you because it's very funny <laughs> uh, we say okay um, let me check i'm gonna move this a moment okay uh, aquí arriba lo vamos a poner don't go don't go Bananas. <laughs> bananas. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. haga el mareado, el de los panes. In, in Spanish, <laughs> panes, but in English, we mention bananas. Okay? Very good. What about okay. number three? Idioms, idioms are very, very nice. And idioms are natural English. No le ha pasado que you are watching a movie, you listen to English, and the translation is not similar. Yes. Yes. Ah, because yes. they are idioms. Because they are idioms. O lo que vamos a estudiar mañana, phrasal verbs. All right? Very mm. good. Okay, what about number three? To relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, I was, I was, uh, I was telling 
I was telling Victor and Sandy that we have different ways to say take it easy. We can say take it easy. We can say chillax. Or we can say hold your horses. Okay, hold your horses. Chillax. Yeah, we can say chillax. Chillax is a, it is a combination of chill and relax. Chillax. Mm -hmm. They are very el, natural expressions for people who in speak el, in English. In El Salvador, say chill. Yes. Yeah, in El Salvador, there are some people that say chill. Yeah, you are right. No, it's in El Salvador, correct. we say calmantes montes. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever have you ever heard people saying that? No. Yes. It's the first time. They really. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I have heard Calmante Montes. <laughs> okay, what about number four? Not feeling well. Not feeling under well. The, under the weather too. Uh, exactly. Under uh, 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 the I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the complete expression so you can you can use it. I feel under the weather. Okay, I feel under the weather. Teacher, how do you feel today? I I feel under the weather. That means I don't feel good. Okay. Okay. A, a, another idiom. Hay un idiom que ya lo he usado con ustedes. Oh my God! It's raining cats and dogs. Y en, in Spanish, what do we say in Spanish? Están lloviendo sapos. Sorry? Está lloviendo sapos. Exactly. In sapos y culebras. Say sapos y culebras. In English, they say cats and dogs. dogs. Cats and dogs. In great condition. Tip top shape. Tip top shape. Not tick tock. All right. <laughs> Tip top shape. <laughs> top shape. Don't say tick tock. All right. Tip top shape. No, no voy a decir, I am in TikTok shape. No. You will say, I am, or I have, or I am in tip top shape. Oh, mami, que tu quiere. <laughs> okay. Don't Normal. have time to. Can, can afford to. Okay. Can, can afford, to. afford to. Can afford to. Afford to. Very good. Can afford, well, the verb afford es como tener la posibilidad de, all right? Can't afford to. I can't afford to. I don't have time. I can't afford to. You can talk about time or you can talk about money. What about number seven? Many people have the same thing. There's, There's something, something around. going something around. around. Yes, for example, when, when, when coronavirus began, when coronavirus was was new and a lot of people were were uh, under the weather and there was and you were saying oh my god there is something going around algo pasa aquí right there's there's something going around okay what about number 8 to phone the office to say oh. you are sick calling sick call is sick Okay, very good. Now, so these are some idioms that we can relate to illnesses, yeah? So these are some idioms that we can relate to illnesses. So, si yo no quiero decir, mi estómago no me duele mucho, my stomach hurts by, by, eh, badly, you can say, oh my God, my stomach is killing me. This headache is killing me. My boyfriend is killing me, all right? You can say anything, okay? And it's not gonna be something, <laughs> and it is not gonna be something literal because idioms are not literal. Okay, how do you say, al que madruga el Dios le ayuda? Do you know? No, if you wake up early, Good. <laughs> yes, Grecia. Grecia, say it, Grecia. 
if you wake up early, God you God help you. Exactly. That will be that will be literal, literal translation. But it is not like that. I'm gonna tell you how it is. Y ya van a ver que no tiene nada que ver. Early bird catch the worm. Nada que ver, ¿verdad? The early bird catches the worm. Al que madruga Dios le ayuda. The early bird catches the worm. A person, a person who wakes up early in the morning, una persona que madruga, se le dice en inglés early bird. Bird. ¿Ya? Yeah? Catches the worm. Yes. The early bird catches the worm. And the opposite. A person that goes to bed very late, que se desvela, that person is a night owl. Ya? Yeah? Un búho nocturno, a night owl. Owl. Yeah, a night owl. Okay, owl. So, the early bird catches the worm. So, if you want to say, hey, how are you, Grecia? I know, you know, I'm very tired. Uh, really, what time do you get up every day? I get up at 11 a.m. Oh my God, Grecia, you wake up very late. Remember that the early bird catches the worm. Okay? You understand okay. the expression? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. very good. Nice. Now, like idioms, everybody? Like idioms, yes or no? Do you think idioms are useful? Very yes. good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, idioms are very useful. And for that, I'm going to show you another list, another list that we're going to use. All right, let me see, let me see. Okay. Ah, all right. Here, a little exam. A little, little exam, a little quiz. It's a piece of cake. What's the answer? What's the correct answer for this? A, it is difficult. B, it is easy. C, it is dangerous. So which is the correct meaning for this? It is B, dangerous. It is easy. It is easy. B, it is easy. A, B, or C? B. 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 Okay, let me tell you that ta -ta -ta -tang, is letter B. Very good. So if you say it's a piece of cake, you're saying something is very easy. Okay? Teacher, apagó el micrófono. Yes, yes, sorry. I was just speaking without. Okay, so. We're gonna go to the last activity because this is gonna take us time, but I want you to learn this. I want you to learn idioms. Okay, uh, we already, okay. Oh, you, 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 you. Give me a second. Give me a second, everybody. Give me a second. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Lo, voy a modificar la imagen porque se mira un poquito yes. distorsionada. Ok, let me check. Uh, let me check. Ok, give me a second. And sorry, everybody. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. That. Uh, I didn't pay attention that the answers were already there. So give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. I 
I am here, okay? I'm, I haven't gone. So I, I am just, solo estoy cubriendo las respuestas porque ya estaban acá y no me había dado cuenta. Y si no, no va a servir lo que vamos a hacer. Ok, let me check. Just two more. Ok. Now I am back. So... Okay. Now it is not too, too distortion. So please take a take a picture of, of this. All right. Because this is the last activity we're gonna do. What you're gonna do right now is you're gonna match the idiom with the meaning. Estos idioms son un poquito más comunes eh, in speaking. All right. People use it. For example, this one is very common. I'm a couch potato. Um, I should keep an eye on the ball. This is very common too. I have a heart of gold. I look on the bright side. This is very common. I mean, these expressions are very common in English. People use them for communicating. They prefer to use idioms than to use these common expressions, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work together and match the meaning, the idiom with the meaning. So did you take the picture? Yes. Yes. Do you have the picture, everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna go and we're gonna work. All right, let me see how many rooms I have. Okay, I have the perfect rooms because we can work in pairs. Um, hi, Norberto. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, Norberto. Vaya, lo voy a poner en la lista porque en la primera vez que pasé lista no estaba. Eh, Gil Sigifredo Norberto, Claudia Chu, and eh, José Nelson. José Nelson, you are there, right? Se está conectando otra vez. Se ha tenido bastantes problemas, pero le vamos a poner acá que he has been here. Okay, very good. So, let's go to practice, everybody. I'm going to give you this time. Bye bye. Bye-bye, Bye -bye, everybody. And we're going to go and practice. Claudia is in group number three. So. No me llegó la invitación. Hoy sí. Okay, good, good. No problem. Mm, I don't know. I tell me walk her. I have called this. No idea, Pisa. Oh, is it difficult? Yes. 
Yes, for me, yes, but I don't understand. Okay, for example, if you for say, me, I'm a couch potato, you are saying, I am, le voy a ayudar con, con uno. I am a couch potato is, I am lazy. Okay, so number one is letter B. I am lazy. Yeah, I am a couch potato, okay? Okay, for example, if you say, I will zip my lips, what do you think the meaning of zip is? I will zip my lips. I started some problem, I am positive about things, I want to ask you a question, I will be quiet. So which one is the, the meaning? Number three. Maybe if I want to ask you a question. I want, I mm, no. Or J, I'm not sure about something else. I don't know, but I don't understand. Okay, number three, I will, I will zip my lips is letter G. I will be quiet. I will zip my lips. Maybe so maybe, maybe quiet. what you, maybe what you can do is try to, Try to relate uh, the the words. For example, I should keep an I should keep my eye on the ball. I should keep my eye on the ball. So, what do you think the meaning of that is? I should keep my eye on the ball. Look at me. I should keep an eye on my ball. Number, uh -huh, uh, I, I I should. Focus. I should focus. Very good. Very good, Herman. Okay. Very good. Yeah. What about number yes. eight? Los más facilitos, right? What about number eight? I have a heart of gold. I have a heart of gold. For example, oh, she's a very good person. She has a heart of gold. Maybe let her see. I am positive about things. I am positive about things. Um, no. When we say that someone has a heart of gold, we are talking about that the person that the person has a, a good heart. Tiene buen corazón. The person has a good heart. So, ¿qué significado se acercaría más a esa expresión? I have a heart of gold. I'm kind. Excellent. Very good. So, try, try to relate. Try to relate. I know. At the beginning, it's not easy. Al principio, no es como muy fácil. But after you have like some practice, you will get familiar. Maybe not memorize them all, but to get familiar, okay? If you need help, I will come back in a moment. I will go to another room and, okay. and I will come back in a moment. Okay, teacher. Check your, your answers. Okay, I'm gonna check this one. Yeah. Um, one, I'm on the fins. Uh, I don't know what is the meaning. Um, then let's go with the six. Or or do you have idea what is the meaning? Estoy en hacer. Oh. I'm on the things is meaning is estoy en la cerca. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, sería como en la cuerda floja. Uh -huh. I went crazy. I started, I started some trouble. Number eight. I started some trouble. Well. Uh, the number six, I opened a can of worms. 
I want to. Hey, I'm not sure about something. I show focus. I can warms. Mm, is the number C. I am positive about things. La, de, la I. Sí. Ajá. Sí, esa sería. Comida balanceada, algo así. Yes, uh, uh, healthy. Things are sana. Mm. It's a hard cold feet. Uh, Tengo los pies uh, helados. Hard cold yes. feet. But um, tengo los pies helados. No, we do that right. Okay. It's, I have cold it's a, feet. Number two is, for example, for example. Hey, Nerica, let's go to, let's go to jump from a bungee jump. I know I have cold feet. No, 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 I have cold feet. Como is this Carol? Yeah, so what is uh -huh. number two? What is what letter is number two? Is uh, it's, I'm scared to do something. Yeah, so it's letter D. Very good. Yeah, letter D. Letter oh. D. Number 10, letter D. Yeah. Yes. Number three, I will sip my leaf. Mm -hmm. I will sip my leaf. The little uh, is a <clears throat> will be quiet and then is a yes, little yes. G will be G, quiet. It will be quiet, yes. Yes, I will be quiet. Excellent. Letter, um, letter G, right? Yes. G. Yes. Number four, I Eight a square meal. I eat. Okay, I know everybody. I know this exercise is a little complicated, but I'm gonna give it to you as a homework. Okay, tomorrow at the beginning of the class, um, we're gonna check the answers. I'm gonna give you some time so you can do this exercise at home. Okay, also you can, you have to do the homework from this class. It's not very difficult, all right? But, les voy a ayudar con cuatro nada más. I'm gonna help you with four. No, teacher. No les ayudo, no. ¿Cómo no? Todas, todas. All of them, all right. Yeah, okay. So, I'm a couch potato. Yo les voy a dar un ejemplo y usted eh, escoge cuál sería, right? Oh, hey, let's go and do some exercise. Ay, no, I am a couch potato. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, what is the meaning for number one? I'm lazy. I'm lazy. 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 Number one is letter B. Number two, <laughs> I have cold feet. Hey, Sandy, let's go and, and jump from a bungee jump. I know. No, teacher. I no, 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 no. I have cold feet. No. I'm scared to do something. Something. Yes. So number two is I'm scared to do something. No es que tengo los pies helados, right? <laughs> I have cold feet. The literal translation is Tengo los pies helados. I have cold feet. Now, I will I will zip my lips. Hey, can you tell me the secret? No, I'm not going to tell you the secret. No, 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 no. I will zip my lips. No. So what is number three? I'm listening. Sorry? I'm listening. I will be quiet. Yes, very good. Wow. I will zip my lips is I will be quiet. Mm. Como me voy a sellar los labios. I will zip my lips. Okay? What about number four? I ate a square meal. Me comí un, una comida cuadrada. Hmm. That would be the literal meaning, but what about the, the meaning? I ate a square meal. 
I ate a healthy balanced meal. Excellent. Very good. Okay. I ate a healthy balanced meal. Mm -hmm. So number four is letter I. Okay. Number five. I am on the fence. Hey, uh, teacher, let's go and uh, let's go to El Cementerio Los Ilustres. No, 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 no. Um, maybe no. I, I'm I'm on the fence right now. I'm on the fence. Honest in the fence. Mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe I'm not sure about something. Excellent. Very good. So number five is letter J. Okay, number five is letter J. Okay, so for tomorrow, you continue with the others. Number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, and number 12. If you want, or if you have questions, you can share the, the answers with, with your classmates, right? And there is no problem, or you can ask me or, 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 or whatever. Okay, vamos a hacer una cosa. We're gonna do something. Number seven. Number eight, number nine, number 11, and number 12. Estas cinco van para la plataforma, ¿ok? Usted lo que va a tener que hacer es escribirme el idiom y el meaning. No letra, sino que el, el meaning. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, I am a couch potato equals I am lazy. ¿Ok? So, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 11, and number 12. Is it clear? Okay. Okay, very yes. good. Okay. So if you need extra information, let me know. Okay, everybody. Lamento dejarlos así de rapidito, pero ahorita voy a conectarme para las tutorías. Bye-bye, everybody, and have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye.